Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Stardew Valley series where we will be doing everybody's favorite thing, capitalism, and making as much money as humanly possible. So, let's get everything set up. Capital... Capitalism. Wait, actually, no, favorite thing, money. No, profits. Profits. Capitalism. And what's a more fitting name than cash? Perfect. And let's skip the intro because, let's be real, we've all seen the Stardew Valley intro probably a hundred times over. Let's go. Okay. So before we start, I have a couple goals in mind that I'd like to go through, which is one. Going the Jojo route with the community development projects. So that means buying all of those upgrades, the ones you normally get from doing the bundles, which would total around 140 gold. So we need to work up to 140 gold for that. Goal number two, a capitalism themed house. I haven't decided if we want to go Jojo or capitalism, but well, we'll see. Goal number three. Mary Haley because I have yet to do that and why not and goal number four create a successful farm because it's kind of kind of would be a stupid run if we didn't so I then went outside planted and watered my parsnips truly after when it's in our sap forest chopped down some wood Then when I was pretty much out of energy, I went to sleep. After waking up on day two, I headed out and watered my parsnips. This should become regular. Shortly after, I went to town and went to the beach to watch Willie's cutscene and get the bamboo rod. I then grabbed a couple forgeables that were around the beach. After grabbing those forgeables, headed up to the lake to fish. And this is what I'm pretty much going to be doing for the next couple days, just to get early game money. After basically exhausting my energy, I headed down to Cinderstat Forest, where I met Leah, to grab some forgeables that I could sell for some profits. Wasn't that many forgeables down there though, so I began to head back into town shortly after. Where then I gave Haley her first gift of many. Then shortly after I ended off the day where I got level 1 foraging and made about 694 gold. Woke up on day three, checked the luck stats for today, and walked outside. It was raining, as it always does on day three of your first year in spring. Then headed over to town, where I checked the quest board. But it turns out, apparently Clint gives quests, even though I have not met him yet, which I found odd. Anyway, after that, right back to fishing, as always. Then I got level 1 fishing later that day, after I fell asleep. Level 2 fishing also, and woke up on day 4. Early after day 4, I met Clint outside, who gave me the blueprints for a furnace, which was really nice. Early after that, I then watered my parsnips, then got straight to fishing.
after a full day of fishing, I swung my axe repeatedly to do the good deed of passing out. Because it's simpler than running all the way back to the house and wasting precious time. I got level 3 fishing that day though, which was nice. Then waking up on day four, five, I'm stupid. I checked the luck and the weather, then had a full harvest of parsnips. Very nice. Headed down to Willie's after to try and buy the fiberglass rod. Turns out he's closed. So went to fish a little bit while I waited. Walking in, turns out I needed 800. So went to grab some fish, headed and turns out can't sell fish to Pierre, which I found sad. Sold all the fish to Willie so I could buy the fiberglass rod. Then gave Haley a gift. Grabbed the rest of the fish, sold it, and got level one farming from the parsnips. Made close to 2000 gold that day. Very nice. Day six spring. On day six, woke up crafting myself scarecrow. After that, I then fished, only only catching one fish before heading to Pierre's to try and buy some potato seeds. Bought 48 to be exact, planted them all, and then started the watering. And so it begins. And so it begins. Talked to Haley a little bit today, and then went to sleep. After waking up on day seven, I began to water some of my potatoes. And from that, a whole lot more swing forth. I then found a lost book in the town, which I swiftly returned to the library with another one that I also found, but apparently I've lost according to that. Walking into town, I triggered the community center cutscene with Lewis. Then walked into Jojamar and introduced myself to Morris. <laughs> Turns out it cost about 5,000 gold and I only had 146. Time to grind for some money. Checked out the traveling cart, didn't have anything too noticeable besides the rare seed, which I sadly could not afford. Get, went and gave the gift to Haley and ch had a little chat with her. After that, learned how to cook stir fry, headed into the mines that day. After finishing the cussing, went down to the mines, quickly breezing through the floors, found a big old copper node. And a geode, which I thought was very nice but an earth crystal also th there then after passing out of floor six i went back home and that was it for day seven day eight woke up watered the potatoes i then shortly after bombarded Haley with a gift later that day then fished I then headed back and shipped all the fish, then went to sleep. Day 8 had a pretty nice amount of profit. Almost 656 good early game money. Day 9 woke up, watered the potatoes, gave Haley another gift. Turns out I already given her two this week. Very sad. Then went fishing. Man, don't you love to fish. Fish, fish. Fish, 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 fish.
then found another lost book that's my third then headed back sold all the fish got level four fishing and that was it for day nine Woke up on day 10, headed outside with Marnie waiting out there with a cat I aptly named Jelly. If you know, you know. Rest in peace, Jelly. After that, watered my potatoes. Then, you guessed it, fishing! Man, I love fishing. Pretty sure I've used that line twice. Whatever. After heading into town, checking the quest board, turns out Haley wanted a cauliflower, but I didn't have one. So then I went back to fishing. Only caught a couple fish, then headed back to sell off what I had. Then went to sleep, got level 5 fishing, chose the Fisher perk, then made a decent amount of money, made about 2,158 gold. Then watered my potatoes on day 11, grabbed Robin's axe, and gave it back to her. Then after that, fishing. Because fishing in this game is incredibly fun, and it's great early game money. After that, sold off everything I had in my inventory, got the bare minimum, went to sleep, got level 2 foraging, very nice, and made a solid amount of gold that day. Boom, day 12. Full harvest of potatoes ready. And then Hat Mouse gave me a nice letter. Then headed inside that community center because I wanted to see if I can try and get the wizard cutscene, even though I'm going the Jojo route, which we shall see tomorrow. We shall see tomorrow. Then walking up to Jojo Mart, proud of myself, ready to become the best capitalist there is, is closed. You've got to be joking me. Anyways, headed back. Grabbed a couple things from a chest up in the woods. Headed back, walked in, and then we have it. Yes, I would. And now, with this click, I'm an official Jojo member. I will become the best capitalist there is. And I got level 2 farming, which was really nice. And I got a pretty decent amount of money from all my potatoes. Then, day 13 has begun. And now with that... Now we are Jojo members, we are one step closer to completing goal number one. See y'all in the next one.